hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel if you are new to this channel please make sure you do subscribe i'm trying to eat 600 subscribers for the end of the month so if you could help with that i really really appreciate it. so in today's video i'm going to show you how to create match cut transition you guys must have been seeing all those crazy smooth transition in various motion graphics uh, videos majorly what they use or the technique they use the most is actually match cut and i'm going to show you how to do that in this video let's go So we're going to start with simple uh, for match cut, right? Where I want this to, to transform from eyes to odd. So how do we do that? For now, I can just basically just delete this text odd, and I'll take my eyes, then take my time indicator to the beginning, press P for position, set this here. Then I'll go to one second, and then I'll just move this to the side. Let's say to this very point here, and I'll alight this. So I'm first of all going to apply my is in which is easy is and then i'll go to my graph editor i'll right click make sure i'm on speed graph and then look at the curve so this is the most important part right here i'm going to do something like this make sure we have that in pitching at the center something like this will do at this part it's going to be the fastest if i play this now we have something like this. Let me trim my work area from here. If I play this, we have something like this. You can see that somewhere around here is the fastest, right? You can see that there's a jump here. So what we can do is to have a split layer. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to do Shift Control D, which is the shortcut, or I can just go to Edit and do Split Layer. Now means we have two different layers here. So what I can do to this is to change this to Hot. And to make sure that this is totally different, I can just change the color. So I'll go to Effects Control and I'll change this to, I'll change it to this color so we can see the contrast. So if I play this now, so this is actually the basic match cut. You can see that at some point it's changed. At the fastest, it changes. Like let me make it smoother by just cutting it to this point and then this point, just one frame to see how that works. So I think this is better. So just know where the graph is on the fastest and then you cut from there. This is the basic idea for match cut. Now we're going to move on to the next one. All right, so I want to quickly show you another way of achieving this, right? And you get the same result. So I'm going to just uncheck this and probably I'll just duplicate this particular one, bring it up. So I'm going to change the color to this right let me just hide this right so let me activate this let me stretch this out okay maybe to this point i'll press u and i'm just going to take this back and cancel the animation so the aim is to make sure this eye goes from here to the center so i'll press position here set my keyframe and then at the middle here i'm just going to set this at this center and i have that so now i'm going to duplicate this new one so let me even make sure i hide all of this so you won't get confused right so all of those under are hidden so i'm going to check this one to let's do pitch i'm just going to press u on this cancel the keyframe changes to alt at this one here i'm going to cut it off from here i'm going to use alt square bracket to cut it and then here i press p for position and then I set this, and then at this point, I'll set this to be here. Come here, and then I'll just cut this off. If I play this, this is what I have. Eyes, then Alt continues to pick it up from here. So let me just play this. This is what I have. So just eyes coming from left to the center, and then Alt takes over and goes there. So how do we achieve that same match cut that I did in the previous ones? Basically, all you need to do, press U, it's still the same ease, but you are, you are going to tweak it differently. I like this. Go to keyframe assistant, then do easy ease, and then go to the graph editor, and then look at the graph. So I'm just going to tweak it in a way that the ends will be the fastest. So I'm going to ally this, and I'm just going to drag this to the side like this, and I'm just going to take this to this point. So the fastest part of this animation will be at the end. So it's going to look like it's slamming towards towards the door or something right and that's that's like the technique and for this one i'll apply easy ease 
the same technique and I'm going to go to my graph editor and then at this point I'm just going to make sure the fastest is at this point I like this then take this here so by the time I play this now you will see the difference so let me change the color of this to so if I play this now can you see still the same technique right so you can either split it or you can have two different layers but then make sure that the curve at this point is at its peak the movement is at its peak at this point so if i select just this alone you see this and if i select just this you see this so that's the major technique so let me show you how you can actually make it more interesting so here we have still the same animation right but this time around i would like to separate the dimensions because we're just making use of the x-axis so i'm just going to come here for the first word here which is eyes i'm going to right click and separate dimensions and i'm not making use of the y-axis so i'm just going to check that do the same thing for the odd separate dimensions and check that so let me just rename this correctly so in this, we are going to make use of some animation principles, basically to anticipate and overshoot, to really, really sell the transition. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So the very first thing I'd like to do, I think I'd like to stretch this to one second first, so that you can really see what we are doing. Then I'm just going to drag this here, then drag this here. And I'm just going to stretch this, and I'm going to stretch this to this point. So we now have this. So it's now one second longer. So this is not making so much sense. Right now, I'm just going to easy ease everything. So I'm going to right click, keep on my assistant, easy ease. So everything now is on easy ease. Now, let me focus on the first one. Right click on this. I go to my graph editor. I'm going to move from my, this is my speed graph. So I'm going to move to my value graph. If you don't know how to use value graph, maybe this could be like a simple crash course on how to use value graph. It needs getting used to, if you're actually used to using speed graph. But for this particular, I'm going to be using um, value graph. What I would like to do is I'll just, I like this, the beginning part, and I will just stretch this down. So what this curve does is to actually play with the value, change the values. As you tweak the curve, unlike speed where you are just changing the speed, value curve make sure you play with the value by me dragging this down that means the value is going to change can you see that the this is actually moving backward that's because this if you can see this let me zoom in some more so you can see that the curve is actually going downward first before it goes up so that's why i'm having that opposite movement first so i made it more obvious now so you can see it's moving back first and then it's going to go to the position so that's how we are going to work with this so let me just zoom out a little bit so i'm just going to take this end and then drag it down like this and let me actually reduce this a little bit okay and this will just give us some anticipation right if i play this now can you see that so let me make sure you can't see this yet right so if i play this it's not exactly smooth yet but let me make it smooth now exactly something like this yeah it just goes down a little bit can you see that it's below the 300 value mark here and then at this point the curve here is suggesting that it's going to be moving really really fast so just like you see that steep for speed is almost the same if not the same with the value graph so this is showing that when it's having this sharp edge here it's showing that it's going to be moving really really fast and that's why we have that fast moving towards the end so before it start moving it just moves back a little bit and then push forward now I'm going to go straight to my odds. So I'm going to activate that. Go straight to this. Let me put, let me trim my work area to this point. And if I play this, this is what I have. Very boring. So I'm going to align this. Go to my graph editor. And make sure that it's only my X axis is selected. And for this, I'm going to do something different. Almost an opposite of what it is that I did there. So this, I'm just going to make sure this is steep like this. So that from the beginning, it's going to be running really, really fast. And then towards the end, I'll just do something like this. Right? If I play this and this is what I have. Sometimes it might get really tricky, right? Because it's not really giving the absolute movement that I like. So what I would like to do is to create another keyframe here, maybe at this point where it's overshooting. I hold down control and click that. And then I will just try and reduce this a little bit. And then I will drag this down so I can have my ease towards the end. So let me see. Let's play this. Maybe I can make this faster like this. 
yeah i think i'm pretty satisfied with that so if i combine these two now this is what i have so with a little bit of tweaking you can actually still make it more smooth maybe this should come in earlier so let's see you can keep tweaking until you get something really really smooth and you don't have to do this with value graph right this does the way i like to do it you can actually do it with speed graph if you know how to control it but i just want to show you guys something really different with, with a little bit of anticipation and overshoot you can actually get something really really cool maybe i should just try and adjust this some more so let me quickly adjust this some more until i'm pretty satisfied with it so let's see yes i'm cool now so with a little bit of anticipation and overshoot you can really really sell the seamless transition so let me show you guys some other things you can really do to really really still sell it really well so if you look at this now can you see what i did is to add some more elements to really really sell the transition so this is how you can actually keep developing more and more to actually really have a really good match cut so i'll also keep showing you more things to do with this so we've actually added more elements to this right now. It, what we're about to do right now is to actually make it more fun to set that illusion through the match cut. And that's what we're about to do. Basically, if I go to the word eyes, you can see that it's just there. So one thing we can do is right now I'm going to, I have these two effects here. One is animated, one is not. And the one is animated is not checked. So what I'll do is I'll delete this and then I'll activate this. And what I've done to this is if I press U, is animated the text in a way that it will start transforming to the other color and then it switches so if i play this right it's very subtle but it's actually selling the illusion more so you can see that at this point it just switches over right and that's because we are trying to match the color with the next text which is odd so one thing we can also do we can also apply the same technique with the eyes if i go to the eyes right now which is this the square actually i have two effects that i've added to this so let me start with the color so this is the fill color so let's see so at this point let me press u can you see that at this point the same color as it transform is already trying to transform into the other color and it just matches to it and if i play this can you see that it makes it even more smoother even more seamless right through the use of match cuts but then we are now adding some other elements to really really set that illusion now one interesting thing is if i now add an effect like echo and do a little bit of animation on it see that this now drags right so that's what echo does it drags it so if i play this now it drags and then snap to that and i will have to do the same thing for this simple shape that i have here if i apply the echo effect to it you can see that from this we have this something cool like this so if i play this now number one the color is actually selling the transformation or the morphing so aside from you using the match cut which is just playing with the ease you can also look for opportunity with the color or using an effect with like echo or using lines to actually sell the transition hey i really hope you learned a lot from this video if you do please let me know in the comment section and if you are new to my channel please just click on the you no know, subscribe button i will see you guys in the next video thank you